Here is the best of the world, 2023 inches list of incredible places and experiences to visit this year. The hope is that 2023 will not only be the year of the great return to travel, but also the year in which we rediscover the fact of being amazed. The locations have been divided into five categories and labeled with the symbol of respect, family, adventure, culture, and nature. For the first time, the outlet has introduced a community category, which covers places doing innovative work in ecotourism, sustainability, and inclusive travel, according to a statement. Press. Each city in Italy is more lovely than the next. Discover those that piqued our interest in Palermo, Venice, Florence, Cagliari, Rome, and even Forio. Florence, the capital of Tuscany, may be compared to an open-air museum. The Cathedral of Santa Maria del Fiore and the Bargello Palace, for example, are both Renaissance marvels. Not to mention that in Italy, we always eat well. So, if you want to explore Italy, you can do so. Verona Verona, located in northern Italy, is famous for its ancient old town. The city's arenas, a massive amphitheater from the first century, now serve as a performance venue for concerts and operas. Above all, Verona is famous for being the setting for Shakespeare's play, Romeo and Juliet. It's also feasible to go to Juliet's house, a 14th century mansion with a modest balcony where the two star-crossed lovers proclaimed their love. The Italian capital is Rome, its Colosseum, Forum, Trevi Fountain, Vatican Museums, Cathedrals. There are several historical wonders to explore in Rome. Modern structures coexist with historical relics. It is not uncommon to come find the ruins of an old column at a roadway curve. The Italian capital also contains lovely parks, such as the well-known Villa Borghese. The terrace of the Pincio Gardens is one of the most magnificent spots to watch the sunset in terms of vistas. Palermo is a city in Sicily. Palermo, located at the tip of Italy's boot, has long been associated with crime and poverty. However, the city has been successful in reversing the trend. Good news for travelers, because the capital of Sicily has numerous assets, beginning with its cathedral and historic buildings. Nothing beats getting lost in the myriad lanes of the old town to absorb in the beauty of the area. Ischian Forio The little volcanic island of Ischia, located near Naples, is home to the port town of Forio. Visit the Mortella Gardens, designed by the English composer William Walton, and one of the city's many typical churches. If you have time, lunch at Vigna di Alberto in Barano, which is less than 30 minutes away by vehicle, to enjoy the chef's delectable meals and the Italian dolce vita. Bari will travel to Puglia. This lovely port city on the Adriatic Sea is a must-see. Bari entices travelers with its turquoise sea, network of lanes and old structures, not to mention the pedestrian retail areas. It is also a wonderful starting point for exploring Puglia and stopping at one of Italy's most stunning beaches. Sardinia's Cagliari Cagliari is Sardinia's capital. It is well known for its medieval neighborhood, which is encircled by fortifications at the top of the hill and overlooks the rest of the city. Among the structures to view are the 13th century Saint Marie Church and the Bastion Saint Remy, an outstanding masterpiece in white limestone. Naples. Naples, like Palermo, has long been seen as a violent, mafia-infested, sickly city. But in the midst of a renaissance, Campania's capital has triumphed over clichés. Pleasant, the city has several palaces, alleyways to wander through, the Basilica of San Gennaro, and a beautiful setting overlooking the sea. Don't forget to see Vesuvius and Pompeii, which are located nearby. Venice. Venice is known as the City of Lovers, the Veneto region city in northern Italy is famous for its canals and carnival, not to mention St. Mark's Basilica and the Doge's Palace. UNESCO has designated the city and its lagoon as World Heritage Sites, attracting over 25 million people each year.